today, my broskies, we are going to be talking about books you need to put on your wish list for Christmas. Please put these books on your wish list. You will regret it. Now, of most of these, I already, pretty much all of them I already own, or I'm putting them on my wish list. So, yeah, let's break and go. I should probably go to my bookshelf because I don't want to be going back and forth. Let's go. Hey, won't you look? Guess what? My light isn't working. Give me a sec. Alright. this look Christmassy. My bad. Um, welcome to my bookshelf over here. We look high fire. I think we need a light on this side, don't we? Yeah, we do. Alright, got lights. Let's turn this one on. Oops. Let's turn it down. Yeah. We gotta have that good lighting. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, then you can just see the light. Okay, so. Jeez, that took a while. Um, we're going to be showing books you need to add to your list. So let's freaking go. I just book reviewed this book like yesterday. But you need to get. Well, actually, for right now, I just book reviewed the book like a few minutes ago. I wanted to make this because I know I'll freak it. Detectives Club. Minerva. What is Minerva Keen's Detective Club? This book is really good. You'll like it. It's by James Harrison, so you know it's good. <laughs> um. Um, oh, why am I blanking, bro? It's literally right in front of me. Wait, got that. <laughs> oh, it wasn't in front of me. It was behind me. I'm such a monkey. Anyway, that one we kid. Awesome, friendly kid. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Awesome Friendly Kid. This book came out. I remember, okay, I remember when the second came out because I remember getting back in 2020 and I was so hyped over it. Uh, get this. It's good. Oh, I'm so <laughs> cringy. I wrote because it was up to 13 and I was like the 14th one came out, so I just written in there for 14 Wrecking Ball and my handwriting was so bad. Really good book. You need to see it. You probably already have Dad from the Kid by this point. I don't think I need to state that again because, like, bro. But speaking of Dad from the Kid, the new book you need to have it on your wish list. I already got it because I do. And it's because it, it is really good. It is worth the hype. So, get this on your wish list. Please. By the way, send me your wish list on Google Docs so I can just double check them to make sure they're good. Um, that sounded. Sounded evil. Um, this. Ooh, why does my chair smell so nice? <laughs> oh yeah, we're on the camera. Anyway, um, Big Nate in the class by himself. Not the comic. Okay, the comics are good, but like, you probably already have them. But like, this one is a go-to on the wish list. I got this like three years ago, and I didn't know. That when it said Lincoln Pierce, I thought that the mom just wrote Lincoln Pierce. I don't know. I so I just crossed it out, and it turns out it was the signature by the author. My God, I'm an idiot. But anyway, so yeah, I have a signed copy. I got from Goodwill for like three bucks. That's cool. And Ishmae. So. I'm, I was about to say Dogman, but I feel like everyone gonna read Dogman by this point. <laughs> Timmy, the failure. The failure of the Timmy. I have book reviews, I think, on all these books I've shown so far. So check them out. 
I don't know if I did one off the Austin Friendly Kid. I might have. I don't think so. But I did one off Timmy Failure. Timmy, the freaking failure. He's the failure in his life. Free kid. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, he, it's a really good book. It's about this kid who thinks he's, like, cool. Is that all I can say? It's funny. It's really funny. They also made a Disney Plus movie off it, so that's how you know it's good. Okay. Do I need to say anything? Get this. <laughs> like, I feel like everyone already has that at this point, so I feel like that's kind of just pointless. Oh, 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 my, right of the auto parts. Um, Cardboard Kingdom. This book is so good. I They literally made a sequel and I got it, like, the week it came out. Uh, it, this is, book is so good. It's, it's a graphic novel, so it's easy to read. I read this in one night or two. One night, yeah, I think so. And it was really, really, really good. Now, I wanted to show, if I do show any Jim Hatch books, that's the thing that the problem with that is that I feel like I would end up just showing my whole, every Jim Patterson book. So, I feel like that, I might avoid that. I might do one. The last kids on earth, did I do a book review on this? I do not know, but you need to put on your wish list because this book is the fire. It's the fire. It lights on flames, bro. It literally is fire. Like, ah, hop it. That's a bad joke. That's what they said when I was born. <laughs> okay. Um. These books are hilarious. Like, oh, hilarious. The Super Dever Baby, funny, good. It's about a poop monster. Like, come on. And then this one's about a pee monster. Like, bro. That's awesome. No books nowadays have the balls to do that anymore. That's why the Pilkey's the goat. Okay. One second. Now... You can look. I got this from my cousin, my older cousin. He's now like almost 18 uh, when I was little. Um, and um, it had like a, I don't know what, it was, I think like an Asian stereotype in here. And they kind of just took it off shelves. So if you get it, you can get it like used off Amazon, but that'll just take forever. And then you probably won't get it in time for Christmas. Sad face. I know. So, I am sorry. But yeah, I don't think you can get this anymore. But I have it, so I was going to say it. But, yeah, took it off shelves. Rest in peace to Dave's Pokey book. He even came out the whole essay video. I remember back in 2020, and I like, had two brain cells, so I didn't know how to read it. <laughs> now, this book is, well, it's weird because I don't have the first one, but I got read to it in fourth grade, but I had the second one. I never read the second one, I don't think. I think I did. I don't know. Also, A-E-O. I'm sorry, I have such a bad sense of humor. Um, I don't know if I did read this. Oh, I did, because I see I did read it, so you could see the dog ear. That's what I like, is that I could see the books like DNF by just seeing if I have a dog ear in the book, which is, that's why I like dog ear in the book. Don't be mad at me. Now, this our, uh, person, his books always just come out in the UK, I've heard. And I, in like his books, like Den something dentist or like, and then Midnight. Midnight, I don't know, Midnight something. And then, so I got this at Goodwill by the guy, Billionaire Boy. So I guess this book probably got passed on from UK to someone in America. And some in America gave it to Goodwill, and then now I have it. So, I think that's a pretty cool thing, you know? Like, I just have this book that would be in the UK, and I just got it at a store near me. That's cool. It's a, it's a, it's a good book. I've not read it. And it's turning into a, uh, guess this is a book collection, because I feel like they're actually cool oldies. Um... 
This is gonna be like the second, maybe second to last one if I actually have self control. Max Crumbly. Now you're like, they said Dark Diaries. Jackson, why are you um, have that? That is not okay. It just makes me mad about your your your, your sense in that thing. It's this is this this is bloody heck. I don't shut up. This is about a gun. That makes me sound bad. Wait 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 wait. Okay, so um, this is a really good book. Um, for all my <clears throat> ladies out there. You uh, this is by the. <laughs> It's by the art uh, artist, writer who made um, Dork Diaries, so check it out. My sister has Dork Diaries, but I'm not going to sneak into her room and get it because I get beat up. I don't want that to happen again. It already happened a couple hours ago. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Save me a seat. Please save me a seat. I am lonely. Um... This is a really good book about two uh, kids, Ravi. I read. I made a book review of this about Ravi and Joe. That both like have no friends and they became friends. It's kind of just the simplest way to describe it, and it's really wholehearted, fun book. Now this book is amazing. I have not done a book review on it yet, and I am sorry. I did on my old old bookshelf channel, but. This one's good, but here's one thing that people might not like, and I'm going to show you an example. Yeah, I found it. Let me find an example. Hold up. All right, I finally found it. Took me, like, a few minutes of write to read. And I went to page eight, and they said, um, can you see that? Yeah, they said that. They say that like 10 times throughout the book, so, yes, but it's still like a book. I read it when I was nine, okay, so, yeah, anyway, um, it's a sweet book. Um, last but definitely not least, odd ones out. How to be cool and other things I definitely learned from growing up. <laughs> Everyone knows Odd One Side. And he has like a book. He has two, but the second one kind of sucks. This one is just a classic. I love just reading this at nighttime. It's just good. It used to be free on Kindle, so now I just own it. Um, oh god. Oh my life just got tangled up. Wanna know a fun fact about those guys? I had these lights up for over a year. I put them up last Christmas time, and then they just, just stayed up. Anyway, so this thing is maybe, the, the lesson I learned from making this video is that my book shows a message, and I'm probably going to reorganize it. It's like that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys liked it, and put these all on your wish list. Please comment down below, maybe like Google Docs or your wish list, so I can see and make sure that they are good. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Peace out like your mom's dead trout. Bye.